from 41 Seaver Way. Welcome to the home of the New York Mets. This is City Field Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Yankees going up against the New York Mets. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color and singing the big bat in the lineup so far this year. Juan Soto leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks. He'll barrel up the baseball. He'll hit the ball in the gap. So he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now. And he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And our pitcher tonight, Luis Severino. What should we keep an eye on here? Oh, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Double play ball to second. There's one. How about that double play? Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Aaron Judge stands in with two away as he takes a ball. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. Two out spaces empty. And another ball. Up and in, and it's three and two. Glaber Torres waits on deck. So all filled up, Severino. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he... Back here in Queens. So here's the lefty, Nestor Cortez Jr. And Singy, that may be his name, but the strikeout is his game. Well, Boog, I can tell you've been working on that one, but yes, you are right. This guy strike out for nine, over 11. I mean, that's just getting it done. There are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup, and when you look at what he's able to do, man, it's going to be a fun one to watch today. And the pitch. Bounds it back with two strikes. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Jeff McNeil stands in. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. One out, base is empty. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's 0-2. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. Soto makes the play. That is the top of the second. Here comes Glaber Torres. And the right-hander back to work. That one missing inside. Torres, multi-time All-Star, batting in the cleanup spot, and he was born in Venezuela. Wouldn't chase that time. The two-one. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Bader should have it. Puts it away for the out. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Warning track. Oh, and you can touch them all, baseball man. A 
solo shot. His 34th of the season. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. So one out, nobody on. Jose Trevino digs in now. A swing and a miss, and that's strike no one. Ball. One strike. One out, base is empty, and a run in here at the top of the second. Swing and a pop-up foul and a play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. And that one is inside. Lifted in the air, right field. Marte moves under it. And there are two down. Two outs, base is empty. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. That's towards center. Bader should have it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. The Yanks do get one on the solo homer. It's now 1-0. You're watching Yankees baseball on the show, NYC. Back here at City Field, we head to the bottom of the second. Now, Pete Alonso. Pulls that one foul. Since debuting in 2019, no player in the majors has hit more homers than Pete Alonso. Bounced up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. And there's a strike on the outside corner. ground a second might be two flips it for one on the Rizzo at first and he'll get the double play and now Bader up to the plate right through there for a strike no ball one strike home team down a run bottom half of inning number two next offering is in for a strike and down on strikes he goes and it's a three up three down inning and welcome back to the ballpark. And now, Oswaldo Cabrera. This one ripped, but foul to the right. Severino, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, a cutter, and he works in a two-seamer. Here's the shortstop at the play, Anthony Volpe. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Deep left field and forget it. He'll circle the bases, his 11th of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 2 0. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Back to the top of the lineup, here's Alex Verdugo. Hit hard, base hit! So a man aboard now with one away. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Juan Soto. That one fouled off. And the pitch. Just missed. 
I thought this was a fun note on Soto. In 2023, he hit home runs in Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. I don't think it matters where Soto plays. He's going to hit. Off balance beat. There's one. And they bounce into two already. This one ends the third. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. Here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. There's the strike. Up the middle. Throw on to Rizzo. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Trace Thompson batting with one down takes a strike. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Ball oh, one there. Boog, it looks like somebody one missed ball. the swing Great. sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. Fights that one away, still one and two. The wind of the pitch. Hot shot to third. Rolls across the diamond. Two up, two down. Ronnie Mauricio now. Pitch is in there. It's 0-1. The Mets down by a pair here in the second and final game of the series. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. In the air to left, down the line. Verdugo drifts towards it, and that is a foul ball. Deal two. Bounce to the right side. Takes it himself, and the Mets go one, two, three. Back now with the Subway Series. As we go to the top of the fourth, it's Aaron Judge now. Out towards right center field. Marte really on his horse for it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Here is Glaber Torres. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Lined, and that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Here's Stanton now. He's already homered in this game. That one misses, and that's ball one. And there's a ball. Two balls, no strike. Two of Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Sizes this one up. He's got it. And there's two away. Here's Jose Trevino. Fly to right his first time. Fly ball down the line. Sizing this one up. And that'll do it. The Yanks lead. Cortez back to work on the ground right side Torres fires over to first one up one down and now here's Jeff McNeil and that's in there at the knees the Yanks leading by two we're here at the bottom of the fourth flips the corner and it's not again two That one back up the middle and it gets through. One gone runner at first. Here's Brandon Nimmo. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Hit on the ground might be two. There's one. Back to first. Double play. Nice job getting. 
We go to the top of the fifth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. And a pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. His 23rd of the year, and they add a run. It's 3-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. With this pitcher's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. third baseman Oswaldo Cabrera and first offering is fouled off you know these Yankees doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game and the numbers back that up one thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time that's good discipline right there and on top of it they're producing more than a hit per inning and the batter will be the shortstop Anthony Volpe and a big swing and a miss Next offering is fouled back. Righty to the plate. One Outside. And yeah, the count one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you'll get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. And I think a lot of it has. Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. Solo homer extends the Yankees' lead. It's now 3-0. This is the Subway Series on the show. Back here in Queens, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Stepping in the long ball threat, Pete Alonso. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Alonso in his sixth season, 29 years old, and he's a former home run derby champ. And now one away. Well, he made pretty quick work of him right there. You look at the sequence, everything down at the knees and below. And some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight. Just oh, missed. Oh, here's a game Lindor will never forget. One night in July of 2023, he went five for five with a home run, two triples, and he scored three runs. That stat line is so rare, only one other player has done it. Guess who? Willie Mays in 1958. Bounce to the left side. Volpe whips it to first on the run. In time. Got him. And that'll. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the top of the sixth. Juan Soto down. Swing and a miss, and he was Come fooled. On. Activity great. in the bullpen. Adrian Hauser, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Buto also throwing. And a foul ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. And another ball. In the dirt. And it's three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's well. And a 3-2. Good plate oh, appearance oh, there. Good. Able to take the walk. You know, I think he's okay with that out. The yeah, Mets with a new good. arm on the mound. Adrian Hauser. He pitched yesterday, Adrian. and we'll see him once again. Oh. On the ground to first. Could be two. There's one. Over to Alonzo. Double play. Well, the reliever comes in, takes care of that inherited runner, gets that ground ball double play, and now he can work on one more guy to get back in the dugout. Ground ball up the middle. Lindor throws the first, and that is that. Nothing. 
Bottom of the sixth inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Francisco Alvarez. Right back to him on the mound. Gets it to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Thompson batting for the second time. And that's strike one. And that one clips the corner. One down, base is empty. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. That one to first, Rizzo. He steps on the bag, and it's a 1-2-3 in. Back here at City Field, we go to the top of the seventh. In now is the Yankees' DH, Giancarlo Stanton. Just oh, missed. Base knock right field. And the leadoff man aboard. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. Okay. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. To second, and he's out. <laughs> Foul ball there. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Left field way back there. Nimmo going back on it. And out of here. He made him pay for that one. And they add on. It's 4-0. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. One out, base is empty. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Missed with a changeup. Ball one. And that one lifted in the air center field. Bader should have it. And there's two away. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Oswaldo Cabrera. Here's a rip to short. But he's there for the third out. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now a 4-0 ball game. And we're back. Starling Marte up to hit. Lifted in the air right center field. Judge really on his horse for this one. And makes the grab. One up, one down. And next for the Mets, Jeff McNeil. That one finds the zone. Strike one. In the air, left field down the line. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's two away. Ground ball Rizzo picks it up. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Ready to begin the eighth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. Hauser back to work. A little out front there as he swings through it. Hauser, 31 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Swing to the miss. That is strike two. Right-handed reliever. Not close with that one. It's a ball and two strikes. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That was blasted to the moon. His second home run of the game, and they tack one on the board. It's five zip. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. 
It wasn't in the air for very long, so let's get a better view of it with StatCast singing. Well, it can't stay in the air for long when it's going 117 miles per hour. It's got to get to its destination. And that was a no-doubter to everyone in the ballpark. Watching it sail out of here was just beautiful. Something now, taking over the on Mets. the mound for the Mets, Number Austin Adams. Oh, and with the big deficit Adam. on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. <laughs> So important to get into the fielding position after you deliver that baseball. That is a scary one. Watch your lips. And now it's Juan Soto. Foul ball. That one, one not one close. Three. And it's one and one. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. To the right side. Oh, and oh. foul ball. One on, nobody out. A run in. And we're at the top of the eighth. That oh, one three. off the mark. Two and two. Two balls. Two strikes. At the belt and fires. That one misses, and that's ball three. Straighten him up a little bit. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Man at first, Aaron Judge stepping in now for the Yankees. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And what the enough. first pitch misses for ball one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The All bit right. behind with that swing. Right, it's strike one. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Two balls. Way One outside, strike. straight to the backstop. In there Two safely. Two. Verdugo into scoring position on the wild pitch, and there goes the double play possibility. Judge rips that one. Hits the fence. The run comes in from second. It's six nothing. And Aaron Judge cruising into second. He's got a double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Runner at second. Glaber Torres getting ready to hit. One for three. Swings right. through that one. 0 oh and 1. 0 oh and 1. One out and a runner at second here in the second and final game of the series. In one the ball. dirt, one and the count is 1 and 1. Slider misses outside. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. And down on strikes. Two gone now. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. He's already homered here in this one. Strike. Swing and a miss. Strike one. No one strike. And he deals. That one, one, one missed. Judge stands at second with two gone.
Next pitch misses way outside. Swings through that one for strike two. Now a fly ball to right center. Sizes this one up. And that is that. Back here in Queens, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now here is Pete Alonso. Going one. Cortez into his eighth inning of work, Siggy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Swings here and blasts one left field. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Swing one and a miss, one strike one. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. One ball. Two Goes down looking. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Throw on to Rizzo. That ends the frame. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Edwin Diaz. Walks have certainly been an issue for him this season. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And it's out of here. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 7-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Digging in, Anthony Rizzo. Up. Swings and misses. No ball. It's old one. one. Wouldn't chase that time. Is cut out and missed. And the count one and two. Bringing the cheese on that one. Foul ball still a one and two count. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Nimmo sizing this one up. Pulls it in for the out. And now it's going to be Oswaldo Cabrera. Swing and a miss. That one at 101. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good hittable fastball early in the count. And the right-hander deals. No. And that just misses. One ball. It's a good take. Started to go to one two a check on it to third and Mike Fillmore right on it. He says he held up Still two and two after the foul ball One down base is empty Cabrera checks his swing appeal down to third and he held up 3-2 down. Left field. And it's foul. Three balls, two strikes the count. This one lifted in the air. Left field. 
out number two. And it's fouled away. Now the one on the ground to third. Tosses across the first, and that's the third. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the ninth. So now here's the Mets DH, Great. Trace Thompson. No ball, one strike. The pitch. This is inside, and that is ball one. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. He's two outs away. And here is Ronnie Mauricio. That one's in there. And that is strike one. Swing and a ground off the middle. That's a base hit. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Here's Starling Marte. Uh, it started a little too early. Oh, Strike one. And that's a fair ball. Lead runner around second. And he's got a double. Back to back base hits. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Swing and a ball popped up. Volpe under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Oh, that's a frustrating at bat right there. Big opportunity and just missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy, I'll have to pick him up. Nimmo in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. The Yankees up big in this one. Here the last half of inning number nine. Ground ball left side. And it goes just foul. The Mets down to their final strike. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Two on, two outs. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Kicks and deals. Good job to fight that one off. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swing and a miss, and he got him, and that'll do it. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. This one ends 7-0. And the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.